Don't do Roth conversions here. That's pretty obvious, right? Your highest tax, effective tax rate you're ever going to be in again. That's pretty obvious. And the reason is because you have the FICA. The FICA is costing you 7.65%. So don't do tax, don't do Roth conversions here. Now, when this guy retires, this is a client, he's got no effective tax rate. He pays no taxes because at this stage, he's living off his cash, essentially. His cash dwindles down. He's got to start taking money from his retirement accounts. His tax rate is still below effective tax rate, 5%. So it jumps up right here. Why does it jump up? Well, because he has 72 and that's required distribution. So his effective tax rate here is what, 13, 14%? And it goes up and up and up until he's dead. All right, so we definitely don't want to do Roth conversions here. It doesn't make sense. That's the highest tax rate he'll, he'll ever be in. Now, the question that comes to mind, though, is should he even do Roth conversions at all? Going back to this, again, it looks great. No taxes, so shouldn't he be doing Roth conversions? Well, let's take a gander. Check this out. This is his federal income tax bracket. His tax bracket. He's in a 24% tax bracket. I can't remember why it jumps up. He had to pay for something. I can't remember. Anyway, but it's 24% tax bracket, which becomes 28. That's what it is in 2026. It becomes 28 once the, uh, the, the Trump tax bill goes away. So it becomes 26 and 20, it comes 28, 2026. So he's in a 24% tax bracket, but look at this, look at that. His effective tax rate is actually higher than his tax bracket. He's right at the 25%. Why is that? Well, because effective tax rate includes your FICA taxes. And this is all the effective tax rate is all that matters. Your tax bracket is irrelevant in this regard. So because you're like, look, I just care about how much tax am I paying on every... 10,000 bucks. It's cost me $2,500 on every 10,000 bucks. That's all I care about. My tax bracket is actually lower in this case than my effective tax rate, which is pretty interesting. But now here, his effective tax rate is zero because he's living off his income. One second. But here he's living off his cash. So he has no effective tax rate, but he has an ordinary is a federal income tax bracket is 10%. So what that means is if he ever does a Roth conversions, he'll at least be in the 10% effective ta uh, federal income tax bracket. But it also could mean he might go to 22 to 24 to 25, whatever the, I guess it'd be 25 at that point. It'll be 10, 15, 25. Again, his effective tax rate is paying no taxes. But that's not his tax bracket. So you always got to think this through before you just start doing Roth conversions because you got to say, what is it actually going to cost me? It's going to cost me. And so just looking at this, you're like, well, okay, maybe I should do Roth conversions because I'm in a no tax bracket. Why does it keep doing that? I don't want it to do that. I'm in a no tax bracket. I have no effective tax rate here. Maybe I should pay a little bit more in taxes uh, at this stage, even if it puts me up to the 20 to the 15 percent to avoid this right here. Check this out. This is what gets interesting. Look at this. His, at 73 years old, when he's at RMDs, his effective tax rate is about 14%, but his tax bracket is 25%. Isn't that nuts? Right now, his tax bracket is 24%. So, I tell you, there's so much more to the tax code than just looking at tax brackets or effective tax rate. So he should definitely not be doing Roth conversions here because his effective tax rate is only 14%, but he's in a 25% of a ordinary income tax bracket, which means for every $10,000 of Roth conversions, he's going to lose 2,500 bucks to taxes. And you're like, he's only paying... 12, 14% uh, anyway, as I tell you, I know it's confusing, it's crazy, but you got to look at both sides. Your effective tax rate is the first thing. What am I paying in total taxes for my total income, effective tax rate? Now, in this case, you're like, all right, so what if I, so look at this, he's actually going to be, I mean, this is, I don't see this very often. He's in a higher effective tax rate than his actual income tax bracket. In the future, his effective tax rate is almost half what his marginal tax rate is. Does that make any sense? That's freaking insane. So now we say, okay, maybe we should do Roth conversions 
to bring this up to 15 and maybe that can level that down to 15. In this case, I probably won't recommend it because he's single. I probably won't. What we'll do instead is if he needs $80,000 a year to live on, I can't remember how much he does, we'll pull $40,000 from his IRA and $40,000 from his cash account to level this off. But there's so much more than tax code than just you know, what's your marginal tax bracket. You got to look at your effective tax rate too, and a lot of people don't. All right. Love your thoughts. We'll see you.